significant development that signals the continued evolution of Africa's telecommunications landscape, Nokia has announced an extended partnership with NextGen InfraCo, NGIC, to build a 5G mobile core network in Ghana. This collaboration represents a major leap forward for the West African nation, marking the dawn of its 5G era, a transformation that promises to reshape the digital experience for millions of Ghanaians. The roots of this partnership trace back to an existing agreement in which Nokia had already been selected as a strategic technology partner tasked with constructing Ghana's first 5G network. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. In extending this collaboration, Nokia and NGIC are not merely building another telecommunications network. They are laying the foundation for a robust, future-proof digital infrastructure that will support Ghana's ambitions to become a leader in the digital economy. Uh, at the heart of this network lies the 5G non-standalone NSA core, a pivotal technology that offers enhanced security, resilience, and reliability. These features are not just technical upgrades, but are essential for ensuring that the 5G services delivered to Ghanaians are of the highest quality. With this network, mobile service providers in Ghana will have access to a shared neutral host infrastructure provided by NGIC, enabling them to offer their subscribers faster data speeds, more reliable connections, and greater capacity for a growing array of digital services. This 5G network is set to be a game changer, not just for consumers, but for the entire telecommunications ecosystem in Ghana. The network's open access model means that it will be available to all mobile operators in the country, thus fostering competition and innovation. By reducing the need for individual companies to invest heavily in their own infrastructure, the NGIC network will allow operators to focus their resources on developing new services and improving customer experiences. Key to the success of this initiative is Nokia's comprehensive suite of solutions, which includes the Cloud Mobility Manager, CMM, and Cloud Mobile Gateway, CMG. These components will be integrated with the 4G and 5G radio access network, RAN, Airscale base stations previously announced, creating a seamless and high-performing network. Managing this complex web of technology will be Nokia's Manta Ray Network Management System, a powerful tool that ensures the network runs smoothly and efficiently. In addition to the technical components, Nokia will provide an end-to-end an -end service suite that covers the entire scope of the project. Um, this level of involvement underscores Nokia's role as more than just a supplier of technology. It positions the company as a true partner in Ghana's digital transformation. By taking on the full range of services, Nokia ensures that every aspect of the network's development and operation meets the highest standards. For NGIC, the choice of Nokia as a partner was driven by the latter's proven track record in Africa and its ability to deliver on the ambitious goals set for Ghana's 5G network. Harikirit Singh, Executive Director of NGIC Ghana, expressed confidence in Nokia's capabilities, highlighting the flexibility, scalability, and security of Nokia's 5G RAN and core solutions as crucial to the project's success. This partnership is not just about building a network, it is about creating a platform that will allow Ghana to harness the full potential of 5G technology. The benefits of this new 5G network are manifold. For consumers, it means faster internet speeds, reduced latency, and more reliable connections, enabling everything from smoother streaming of high-definition content to more responsive online gaming experiences. For businesses, particularly those in sectors like finance, healthcare, and education, the network will open up new possibilities for innovation and growth. Enhanced mobile broadband, massive machine-type communication, and ultra-reliable low-latency communication are just some of the capabilities that this network will bring to the fore, each with the potential to transform industries and drive economic development. One of the most exciting aspects of this partnership is the commitment to building a sustainable and forward-looking network. The 5G infrastructure in Ghana will not only be high-speed and secure, but also environmentally sustainable. This focus on sustainability is crucial in a world where the environmental impact of technology is becoming an increasingly important consideration. By adopting a shared network model, 
NGIC and Nokia are reducing the duplication of infrastructure, thereby minimizing the environmental footprint of the network. Looking to the future, the 5G network being built by Nokia and NGIC is poised to evolve beyond its initial capabilities. As technology advances, the network will be upgraded to support newer capabilities, ensuring that it remains at the cutting edge of innovation. To this end, NGIC and Nokia have announced plans to establish a flagship 4G 5G center of excellence in Ghana. This center will serve as a test bed for emerging technologies and use cases, allowing both companies to demonstrate their leadership in areas such as network sharing, cloud RAN, and open RAN. The impact of this partnership will extend far beyond Ghana. As NGIC's Chief Technology Officer Michael Saitlin noted, there are plans to expand the 5G network to other regions in Africa. This broader vision underscores the strategic importance of this project, not just for Ghana, but for the entire continent. By leveraging Nokia's technology and expertise, NGIC aims to bridge the digital divide in Africa, bringing advanced digital services to underserved regions and helping to drive the continent's transition to a digital economy. In the coming years, the fruits of this partnership will become increasingly apparent. The 5G network will enable a host of new services and applications that were previously unimaginable. From smart cities to connected healthcare, the possibilities are vast. For Ghana, this is more than just a technological upgrade. It is a pathway to greater economic prosperity and a higher quality of life for its citizens. Nokia's Senior Vice President for the Middle East and Africa market, Miko Levanti, emphasized the significance of this project, describing it as a great opportunity with strong purpose to serve the continent's needs. Indeed, this partnership is a shining example of how innovative technology, when deployed thoughtfully and strategically, can have a transformative impact on society. As Ghana prepares to launch its wholesale 4G and 5G network as a service, NAS, within 2024, the anticipation is palpable. The network is expected to revolutionize the way Ghanaians connect, work, and live. For mobile operators, the shared network will offer a more cost-effective way to roll out 5G services, enabling them to focus on what matters most, delivering value to their customers. In conclusion, the extended partnership between Nokia and NGIC to build a 5G mobile core network in Ghana represents a landmark moment in the country's digital journey. It is a project that blends cutting edge technology with a vision for a more connected, more prosperous future. As Ghana steps into the 5G era, it does so with the support of one of the world's leading technology companies and with a network that promises to set a new standard for excellence in telecommunications. The journey is just beginning, but the destination a digitally empowered Ghana is now firmly in sight. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to the channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.